What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to me and my life, um, I've been traveling around in a mini school bus for a little over than 365 days. We just hit our one year anniversary of traveling. We're currently in Alaska right now. We've been here for about three weeks, a little more than. Um, we've been traveling with our friend Dean who goes by the schoolie. And now we're kind of just posted up for the day. And I figured since I haven't done this yet on my channel. Um, I wanted to show you guys around a little more of a detailed tour of where we live. So, without further ado, welcome to my crib. Jenny Bus, baby. That's her name, Jenny. And it originated from a very special time that Jordan, my cameraman behind the lens here, had together when we went to a music festival last summer. And he um, made a totem pole of Forrest Gump because we were going to Electric Forest. And we brought the bus and we were like, all right, we need to come up with a name for her. And the first thing that came to mind was Jenny. Like, you know, Forrest and Jenny. <laughs> so, uh, moving on. So the bus is a 2003? Three. 2003 uh, GMC Savannah. First, I'm going to show off our kitchen because it is my favorite, favorite thing ever. It looks a little bit different than it did. We did some renovations uh, when we were home the last time after Europe. So first we have this beautiful sink over here, super simple, just some uh, stainless steel bowl that we shoved into the cabinet. Um, That's a countertop. The countertop and uh, a beautiful brand new um, Pfister brand, Pfister uh, faucet. I think it's Pfizer. Anywho, so this is our new faucet. Before we only had a little hand pump, which was a pain in the tush. So, um, why do I say things on camera that I've never actually said in real life? <laughs> I've never said pain in the tush. I'm trying to avoid swearing because it's not that cool to do on YouTube. So, this is our new faucet and it's beautiful. We also have running water. We have a, how big of a tank? We have a 33 gallon tank in the back of the bus that I'll show you guys after. This is our spice rack, the most important piece of this whole entire bus. And we have all the spices. We have a beautiful picture here from my friend Beatrice. Shout out to B. I miss you, I love you. And moving on to our stove. We um, originally had just like a camping stove that we kept underneath that little cabinet there that we would shove up here, hook up to the propane, do our little thingamajig. What the f am I saying? A thingamajig? <laughs> a thingamajig. <laughs> Clearly I have a really hard time talking on camera sometimes. <laughs> now we have this friggin' thing and Jordan did a heck of a job installing this. So he cut a hole into the countertop, shoved this thing in there, and then we hook it up to our propane tank, which is actually a larger propane tank underneath the sink, which actually, I'll show you guys right now. So this is um, where we keep the gray water and then our propane tank and our trash and dog food and all our soaps. So moving on to our pantry here. It is quite a disaster right now, but that's usually how it always is. This is where we keep all our stuff, all our food stuff. So I'm not gonna go through everything that we eat because that'll just totally bore you guys to, to hell. So, um, bore you guys to hell. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> all right, moving on to our refrigerator. So under here, we use- um, it's Refrigerator? A, it's a winter? Is it a winter brand? Winter, right? You've never said refrigerator. I've never said refrigerator. Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay. This is our uh, winter fridge. Um, we use it in all four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, but that is just the name brand. It's winter. <laughs> huh. uh, so yeah, you just flick that little switch there. Let's do a close up of that. It's nice. And then you open it up. You can hear the suction on that. It's a good fridge right there. And uh, that's where we keep our food. Moving on. <coughs> This goat skin drum was something that Jordan um, was so adamant about bringing onto this trip and we have not used it once. So it now turned into a seat, a chair. So now we're gonna move on to the bedroom. So this is our bedroom here and it's pretty damn comfortable. Shout out to my girl Haley. She gave us this mattress, it's memory foam. Um, I think it's a Bobopedic actually. Shout out to Bobo Pedic. You make a nice mattress. You make a nice mattress. And underneath, um, we hold a ton of storage. Um, before, we didn't have these drawers. It was just open space that went all the way through. And we just kind of shoved some bins under there and some baskets. And then Jordan made these beautiful, beautiful drawers. So they slide out like so. And we can keep way more stuff in there now. Top drawer is my drawer. Bottom drawer is Jordan's drawer. <laughs> oh. That is a horrible sound. And one little request that I had of Jordan when we were doing our uh, builds was to have some sort of bookshelf. So when I was working one day and I came home and he had this built for me, it was like the most special thing ever. Usually we actually have two plants that are on the left and the right side over there, but clearly neither of us have any sort of green thumb and they're dying. So we put them up on the front dash, and now it's our little dash guide. So then over here, we keep Lobo's toys. We got two little cabinets here. So these are kind of just like drunk drawers. Trunk drawers. <laughs> Junk drawers. This actually is not a drawer anymore or a cabinet. Um, that's where we keep the water pump down there. So this is a little easy access. Hey, you're not supposed to be in a bed. She's like, what are you doing with all my toys? <laughs> all right, moving on. We have this little cabinet door right here, which is just some more food access. Now this is one of our upgrades. So before we had this really ugly, sorry, Jordan, uh, brown couch, and we upgraded to this beautiful, beautiful bench. This fabric was actually picked out by you guys when we did a little live stream on the Nomadic Movement. We went to the, the fabric store and you guys voted this fabric. And I'm pretty, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I like this fabric. Green is my favorite color. And I think it goes really well with kind of like the green scheme. Green scheme we got going on in here. So, lift this, lift this baby up. You got laundry, more odds and ends unnecessary things, um, camera gear. So this is what we call the cockpit. Um, I've That's actually... the first time you've ever called it that. <laughs> uh, so today, this is what I want to call our cockpit area. Um, so we got this gorgeous uh, 1970s chair um, that we installed. Uh, completely ourselves. So yeah, that's our cockpit area. And uh... What about the swivel? Oh, you guys want to see the swivel? I'll show you the swivel. So it's pretty old. Um, so it definitely isn't as smooth as it could be. But this is, uh, this is how this baby works. And now, you got a little uh, seat to entertain with. The entertainment seat. I'm entertained. Lobo. I love you. Okay, let's take a look into the garage. So 
so here's our garage. And that's our dog. So clearly you can see it is an absolute disaster in there right now. But this is also storage area. So we have 33 gallons of water. What? <laughs> we have 33 gallons of water um, that we use shower and then for the faucet up in the front and we usually fill up for two people we usually and a dog we fill up probably every let's say once a week and now we have our own shower this is what we use here it is a camp lux um, definitely by far the best decision we've ever made before we used to use planet fitness um, which wasn't always ideal because they're not always planet fitnesses around so this works great. It's basically just a water heater. You hook up a hose, uh, then you hook it up to the propane. So we bring the propane outside, hook it up, and then it's like a shower. So just, just imagine showering, warm water, beautiful, beautiful view just ahead. That's about it. All right guys, so that's a wrap. I just wanted to show you guys a little tour of where we've been living for the last 365 days. Um, I'll see you next time.